Well, this is a race I've never seen before. Reminds me of something I scraped off my shoe. Hi, my name's Alias No. How are you? I have the cramps and nausea one normally associates with imminent fission. Great joy is mine! I am nearing fission! Being human, you cannot help but remind me of that great human comedian, Jerry Lewis. Well, that's not exactly a bad description. I would like to know the inspiration behind this character design as it may just be me, but I don't want to say what I think that this looks like. I cannot help you. My imminent vision may be interfering with my memory patterns. We get the same response for each of these. Gimme some membrane, dude. I must preserve my energies for my imminent fission. Hi, you're not from around here, are you? Sorry, I can't chat. I have to split. Alright, let's move on to a new area. I better not bother her while she's working. Maybe when she takes a break. She does take frequent breaks, so I will return here soon. Germans tested lips off my air intake. This is an outrage. I have never been so humiliated in my life. We intend to lodge a formal complaint with the embassy. Hey there. My name's Alias. What's yours? Address me as Ambassador Mai. Address me as Ambassador Tai. Attention, spaceport travelers. The special charter flight from Hapakto has arrived at gate We are very important members of the Frufnir Diplomatic Corps. We are on our way to an important post on Marashino 4. Hapakto, a Like all peoples of the galaxy, we appreciate human mastery of slapstick comedy. Please humor us by throwing a pie at your face. Maybe soon. It would be unwise to discuss that without clearance from the Frufnir Foreign Ministry. Again, we get the same response for each of these options. This... this human is attempting to give us an order. Will the indignities never cease? We are on this biped infested planet for one day, awaiting our luxury flight to Maraschino 4. We decided to visit this establishment in order to absorb some local atmosphere. And instead, we have been subjected to a non-ending string of humiliations. What sort of humiliations? Shockingly inappropriate humiliations. 
pointing at us, giggling, picking us up by our intestinal tract handles, fiddling with our sensory umbrella and our delicate exposed brain matter, attempting to consume our vital internal coolants, and most shocking of all, clamping their germ-infested lips around our tubular breathing apparatus, and, believe it or not, sucking the air out of our lungs! How dare they? You know, this probably isn't the smartest place for you guys to hang out. Are you implying that we shouldn't be treated with respect in all cases? I haven't been so humiliated since the authorities on Swizzle 3 requested that we pay our parking tickets. Yo, everybody, check out these guys. They look just like Polynesian drinks. What a guess! I am apoplectic with rage. We must contact the Fufnian authorities without delay. We will see if this creature treats us this way once his home planet has been reduced to molten slag. Uh, pardon me, but I've got an important case to solve, and it's obvious that you guys are only in this game to provide comic relief. She's young, and I don't know for sure, but if I were a Marmalai, I think I'd consider her cute. Um, Elias? Hey, honey. How about a little kiss? Hey, jerk. How about a little mace? Hi. My name's Alias Noah. How are you? Welcome to the Thirsty Tentacle, Alias. I'm Paksha, your waitress. To be more accurate, I'm THE waitress. get too many humans in here. <laughs> Do all humans look as much like Jerry Lewis? That means Ark is potentially legit. someone had left him behind. I tried clearing him. Not a good idea. Oh. Well, that is good to know. I'm sure that we will encounter them soon. I will be exploring more of the bar after this video but for now there are plenty of flashbacks to complete I'm awfully parched. Can you get me a drink? You got it, honey. Uh, where is my drink? I only take two kinds of orders from customers. Drinks and food. What can I do for you? Seen anything out of the ordinary today? Well, I saw Borksh make a grilled bug burger without burning it. What? How dare they? What can you do for my grumbling belly? Belly? Oh, 
Yeah, that's where you humans digest your food. Unfortunately, we're all out of food that's suitable for human physiology. You might be able to get some nuts at the bar. Thanks for that. Erotic photography, huh? I have a sneaking suspicion that what I find erotic and what a plant finds erotic are substantially different. Alright, so if you are under the age of 18, you may want to stop watching now. Now what do we have here? Oh my. Absolute filth. Disgusting. Well, I guess that we should put this down. I don't want to get banned. Veg fruit at the peak of ripeness. Here's your drink. Don't get too wild now. Thanks. I'll see you around. Thank you very much. I will stash this for now. Try that again in your fertilizer. Have you noticed that your message light's been blinking? Yes, I know. Soon. Keep your meaty hands off my fruit, human. A middle-aged veg. Walking plants always give me the creeps. I get this irresistible desire to stick them in pots. Seed rot. Why is attacking people on sight an option in this game? Good day, I'm Alias Node. Mind if I join you for a bit? Of course I mind, barbaric human. There's not a lot I can do to stop you, though. I'm Seed Rot. Less than delighted to make your acquaintance. I've got a long layover on my way to Shangri-La, too. It seems like a great place to settle down. You plant enslavers all look alike, but hey, weren't you in Cinderfella? Are you in training to become a member of the Neo-Inquisition? Quite sweet. It's my favorite book from a very long time ago. It's very personal. Don't touch it unless you'd like to lose a limb. But I've already touched it. I might give you a fat lip, but that's about it. wouldn't give you a cold. Can plant life catch colds? Look, I'm not a waitress anymore.
can hardly wait to get off this lousy planet and get on with my life. Oh, sounds like there's a story there. Yeah, it's a long story and not a very pretty one. Where'd you come from? Originally from Legum. Is this the first time you've fruited? No. I fruited once before, many years ago. Sounds like you got a load to get off your mind. I'm sure you wouldn't be interested. Why don't you tell me about it? Why do you want to know? Look, I've got some free time and you seem to need to talk. Sounds like a good match to me. Well, if you're really interested. Tell me about your first fruit. Oh, I never got to see it grow up into a plant. It's been difficult all these years not knowing how the little guy turned out. That's partly why I've decided to fruit again. I'm giving myself a chance to be a good parent. Go on. Tell me about your past. I left home to join the rebels. What a joke! We didn't get past the spaceport. We liberated one plant, then we were slapped in a detention camp. Within two days, my true love got involved with another tomato. My dreams were dashed. After getting released, I didn't have any money to even get off planet. Since then, I've been working as a waitress, slinging hash all over the galaxy. Hi. This flashback takes place in one room, as we are currently rooted to the floor. If we check this map here, we can see that this is us, and our roots are quite deep down. And there is also a water main right next to our roots. Now let's take a quick look at our logs. How dare he? Oh. Wait, a raid against Earth? Is this 2036? So in 34 years time, we are going to be invaded by these creatures. Oh dear, maybe we should tell someone about this.
Right, so our objective in this flashback is to drop a fruit. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay, let's look around. What is that noise? You can tell I use Li Sheen regularly. Now what are you up to? It's good to keep in shape, but don't forget your modesty. What? There's just this creature here. I'm guessing that this is mom. And ourself. Seed rot, you should be ashamed of yourself. You could go blind doing that sort of thing. Maybe you've been getting too much light. Oh, it's a bee. You're pretty feisty today, swinging your limbs about like that. I think you must be getting too much water. Back in my day, we had to hike for an hour to get water. Youngsters today are so soft. Hey, Mom! What's growing? Nothing new, dear. Oh, that's nice. I always tell my children that they are planned. Or should, should I say were planned. Looks promising. Of course, I've always had huge, lovely flowers myself. Um, have you seen my, uh, root comb? My roots are a mess today. Where could it be? Several of these options give the same response. Oh, don't worry about him, dear. He won't hurt you. Would you like me to polish your leaves? Sheep plant. I'm guessing that is the creature that keeps jumping up and down. Don't watch too much. It's not good for you. We will be watching a fair bit of TV. I will explain why when we get there. Don't be silly, dear. Would you like a snack? And again, a lot of these options give similar responses. Yeah, some of these options give us a generic response. It's not polite to order your elders around seed rot. In my day, we were taught to respect our elders.
Oh. Now, I think that I understand what a pollen bank is. Are we done here? Yes, now let's chat to Curvy Stem. I have a great new hummus recipe. It's so rich in minerals you can practically see your leaves get healthier. I hate health food. Everyone who eats it looks washed out and weak. You're just not old enough to know what's best for you, my darling one. Go ahead, make your stupid hummus. See if I care. I'm not having any. Perhaps you'd like to be grounded for the next couple of years. Would that suit you, Miss Smarty Plant? Why don't you just pipe down and watch some TV? I will. <laughs> Before then, we need to explore this room some more. As best as I can recall from insect class, that appears to be the variety Homius bumbleus, or the common homing bee. Missed! 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 I guess I shouldn't have skipped out on gym class so much. can't quite reach him. Ugh, I hate being rooted. Mom sure spends a lot of time at this desk. I wonder what she does over here. Hmm, locked. Mom doesn't trust me at all. Never mind that, dear. Why don't you watch television? How's a young sheep plant have any privacy? Here, boy! You could do that all day long, couldn't you, boy? There. You look wonderful. Now go play in traffic. Wow, that's quite harsh. Right, I need to look away from this plant, as it is slowing down the game. But before I do, there is a collar right here. This reminds me of those contraptions on the late night bondage movies. Ugh, smells like sweaty sheep plant. Oh, phew! It reeks of sheep plant! I'm surprised Mom hasn't been keeping me in one of these. Now, we need to put this on sheep plants. Before we do, you may notice the collar has a number on it. The number three. A nice fit. And very flattering, too. Good boy. A rather lovely bud, if I do say so myself. Those revolutionaries are a bad influence. That's perfectly obvious. I think you need a good long talk with your father. Where is he? The bud is either not getting enough light or not getting enough water. So we need some light and water. Our roots are right next to the water main. Okay. Remember the number three? If we move this up and down, especially down, I hope that sheep plant is okay and that we did, we did not hurt him. 
Let's try to turn these lights up. Now leave those alone. When I was your age, we only used natural light. But the pets need a little booster. You young plants are so spoiled, you can't even entertain yourselves for a while. We need to find a way to get rid of Mum. Well, this is quite handy. The pollen bank. Fine. Pine cone, root, root. Greater Fernborough Pollen Bank. This is Plenty Fruit speaking. Are you interested in deposits or withdrawals? Withdrawals. Let me assure you, you've made a wise decision in choosing to use a pollen bank over conventional methods. With quality control, we can provide you with the very highest quality pollen available from high-profile donors. And the popularity of this method has eliminated the fear of stigmatization. <laughs> you are at least 18 years old, aren't you, dear? Ah, uh, well, that is... Oops! <laughs> Oven timer's going off. Gotta run! <laughs> We do need fruit. Oh, sorry, we do need pollen if we want to make fruit. But unfortunately, we can't get it this way. Maybe that bee will come in handy.